Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome! We are glad to see you and here with me is amazing Holly. And here is Julia. <laughs> and so. we have an interesting topic today. Mm -hmm. A very interesting one. Um, a lot of people like Christmas and a lot of people in the world celebrate Christmas and today yeah. we're going to talk about Christmas because Christmas was a couple weeks ago and <laughs> we thought it'd be interesting to talk about like different cultures and how different cultures celebrate Christmas and, mm -hmm. and what does that look like and um, what do we eat, what do we do. Um, so yeah, so join us on this journey. Um, let us go Christmas journey. Ooh, let it go, let it go, let it go. We have a new friend. He's like new. <laughs> this is our guest today. Yes, yes. Mr. Yeah. Tree. Mr. Tree. <laughs> and the tree says, Be tremendously wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay. If you needed a pun for today. So, <laughs> anyways. So, so. What is, um, what's your favorite Christmas food? Before we even <laughs> talk about cultures and traditions, but what's your favorite food yeah. food in Christmas time? Pampushki. Mm -hmm. Pampushki. Yeah. Was that the thing you mentioned in one of our other videos? Yeah. It's like Ukrainian on Christmas Eve. The, you remember yesterday when you showed us what you gave steps for Pampushki? Like the piece of the bread that is sweet. Oh, and inside okay. have some or or chocolate Ooh. or 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 jam like mm -hmm. they're like different things inside mm -hmm. and it's really fat but <laughs> I like it. In addition to this, right now I'm a student, so I'm not celebrating proper <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I think it's our heart, but yeah, like just sweet, sweet things mm -hmm. and like I have traditions in like for beans that I could like. Mm, take control of my style like whole year. Um, I'm, I'm not usually eating right now um, like fast food and stuff like that. I didn't like it actually. But <laughs> like for Christmas I could eat whatever I want and how much I want. And it's okay that I could have like just two or three kilograms. I'm like, it's after I have a session. So for sure I'm really okay. <laughs> Christmas is a good time to gain weight because it's you know it's yeah. 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 So what about you, girl? <laughs> My favorite Christmas food. Um, I really love like um, in the states we have so much peppermint around Christmas. Mm -hmm. We have like um, candy canes, and it was actually really funny because I was um, the year that I had lived in France. My parents came to visit me in like May after. Oh. And I remember telling my mom, because they had already planned out their trip, I told my mom in like December this year, can you save a bunch of candy canes and bring them to me when you visit me in May? Because I was having such a hard time finding candy canes in France, and I was just like missing a good old American candy cane. All right, so you have a game for us, so I hear. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? What is it? Yeah, so I prepared for us like small games, and I hope that it will be fun for you. So um, in Christmas, I don't know what about your traditions, but in my traditions, we are singing carols, mm -hmm. and it's usually about like Christmas and that God is coming and the happies wishes and stuff like that. So I have a proposition for you, okay. and that uh, we started is like we sing different songs for one song from our like mother tongue mm -hmm. and studied each other yeah. maybe not a lot but we sent it that you know that uh, you guys and we could know it better and have some fun about curls so i like the sound of this game it sounds fun <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to be first i mean i can go first so then you know. <laughs> oh it's so good so do you agree i'm no. never <laughs> insisting <laughs> Um, okay, so I thought we could do, so my name is actually a name in a Christmas song, because mm -hmm. um, during Christmas, um, my, I'm, like, my name means, like, a bush, or, like, a, it's, like, a tree, holly, it's of Stokshev in Polish, and it's who, en français, 
and I don't know if I'm building coaches, but you know. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, the song goes like this. It is, have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Yay! I'm definitely a bit off tune, but it's okay. <laughs> um, so, so the first part is, have a holly jolly Christmas. Have the holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. It's the best time of the year. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Hey! <laughs> you got that part. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. Do you want to try it all together? Yeah, all together? sure. Okay. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for cooperation. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 My part. My yes. time. Teach me. Teach yeah. me how to sing in Ukrainian. Yeah. So uh, I I probably do it in Ukrainian because I mostly pearls that I know they are from this language. So I propose to you to um, study. So really, my family song and the song is not like really common for all region of Ukraine, but my region, just yeah. money, is now it's stuck, so. Which is the region near Lviv, right? Yeah, now, Lviv, like, yeah. and it's a, more about ethnic group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like different ethnic group and different ethnic group, di different songs, so it's from oh, cool. ethnic groups that my father Sweet. is coming from. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, Aww. so. Okay, it's telling, it's telling about it, like, I will transfer it after. I will okay, say. okay, so it's fun. <laughs> Temnenka janichka, temnenka janichka tmoju, svit zakryla tmoju, svit zakryla na nebesnim poli, na nebesnim poli zoria, zasvitila zoria, zasvitila. I'm etc. etc. And it's yeah. telling a story about it. Like the first part, it's about it. it's a dark night, everything is covered by dark, and you cannot see, uh, see something, but you can only see this special star that, mm. that is giving you a road to Jesus. And after it's telling that like everyone is coming to Jesus, and the last part of this song is telling that Ukrainians, especially Ukrainians, mm. come today to Jesus to. Be say he thanks a lot for this year, mm -hmm. and you know to like to make a worship about it mm -hmm. for everything what he made for our nation. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I love how that's all of them song together. Like that's that's really beautiful. Yeah. So you'll have to send it to me after, and I'll have to like go through and like translate all of it, and yeah. then I can listen to it. Um. Yeah. So. so Teach me. Teach me how to say it Okay. Temnenka Janiczka. Temnenka Janiczka. so great! She's amazing! Okay. Temnenka Janiczka. Temnenka Janiczka. You're amazing! <laughs> Let's start, like, try it together. Okay, let's do it. Temnenka Janiczka Temnenka Janiczka And second part Tmoju svit zakryla Tmoju svit zakryla Kryla Tmoju svit zakryla Kryla 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 <laughs> and like it's the same like words but in other music. Tmoju, tmoju, svit zakryla, svit zakryla. Oh, I love it. Let's try it together. Let's together, yeah. Temnenka janichka, tmoju, svit zakryla. Tmoju, svit 
Zakrela. You see, I, I studied English in my life a lot, and Holly, like, come on, she never studied Korean. I can Korean. say, uh, I just followed dobre? Dobre. 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 It's like, okay. It's and like, I can wow. say, Ukrainska. Oh, it's like Ukraine, and you, you can say, Moba. Oh, would that be like, I speak Ukrainian? Oh, it's like the Ukraine language. Ah, Moba Ukrainska. 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 Moba. Moba. Ukrainska Moba. Ukrainian uh, language. Yeah. Ukrainska Moba. And Ukrainsku po polsku? Po ukrainsku, po ukrainsku. Po polsku. Ty mówisz po ukrainsku. It's like Polish version, but in Ukraine it will be czy, czy, ty, ty, rozmowla. Wow. Okay, Ukrainian was like, it was going okay, but that just got really hard. <laughs> it's like, czy, du, ty, you, rozmowlaj. Speak. traditions for example in my part we're more close to Poland so our traditions more common with Polish traditions oh, and, interesting. and for example we are saying to people for Pani, Pani? like miss and uh -huh. it's the same like in Polish language but you were never heard it in Kiev oh. for example mm -hmm. because it, we, you know, they don't know what does it mean even <laughs> like so you, you will oh. feel it uh, about Christmas like for sure it's about totally family and mm -hmm. it's about it. I remember also when I was kid and um, the day before Christmas, at Christmas Eve, you could not eat all day. Mm -hmm. And I was totally hungry because we usually come to the oldest members of our family. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like long road, like this whole stuff, I'm hungry and my parents are like, yeah, yay, Christmas, just like, come on. I don't like this holiday. I'm yeah, hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So it was this, but um, in the day of in the end of the day, when the first star is coming mm -hmm. and we can see it, we are starting our you know supper, and mm -hmm. it's also about praying about twelve dishes, like twelve apostles. It's like this, this, oh. this, this many. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, there are also a lot of things that we are from. For example, wearing the Shalanka, you create national clothes. Oh, so you wear that on Christmas usually? Yeah, like it's usually oh. we are wearing it in all important like uh, mm -hmm. events. For example, mm -hmm. when uh, they are Independent Day for sure, mm -hmm. when's Christmas, um, Easter, mm -hmm. like everywhere. When you, for example, the first day of the school, the last day of the school, the mm -hmm. Shalanka is a perfect outfit. Oh, you create. 
Oh, like for example, in Poland they have two their own like national clothes, but they don't use it. They usually use it for some festivals, for dancing, and but not for we like in Ukraine, it's totally another situation. Both of them are really beautiful, like the Polish ones I've seen, yeah. the ones you've shown me yeah. in Ukraine, like they're yeah. really, really beautiful dress. You know, we are making it more modern than it was before, because when you're seeing like old national Ukraine clothes, like different in different regions as we get it before, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you will see that it's like enough common with the Polish, uh, clothes, but with the time we made it more modern to, to wear it every day. So it was comfortable, so, cool. so you'll yeah. see a costume for many girls are wearing it for wedding, like party ceremony. So it's like really, really modern clothes. And it's for sure about Christmas. It's like clothes, family, this total supper, and carols. After really? supper, usually, maybe you cannot believe me, but like most of Ukrainians have a special talent. They could sing really, really good. Really? <laughs> yes, and if you see how many people could sing, like, you know, clear and mm. without, like, they didn't even study it before. Mm. They are so good. So I'm thinking that Ukraine is one of the most, you know, the musician, like, nation, na nations in the world also. So you will feel it and yeah. So it's really important in that moment, yeah, like to be like in the old house with a crowd of people, mm -hmm. has this place uh, near, like has this place near the table, and you know, you can also um, feel this atmosphere that we are celebrating this mm -hmm. coming, mm -hmm. coming of the God. And the next day, like the Christmas, usually it's like or at 5 a.m. or 3 a.m. is starting mess. Wow, wait, so that's interesting. So in Poland it starts at midnight, right? Yeah. And then in Ukraine it starts between 3 and 5 a.m. Yes, because um, it's really rarely that in Ukraine someone started mass at 12. It's like more Polish, like oh. Roman Catholic tradition. In Ukraine yeah. there are not a lot of from like people from this tradition. Usually my part is from Greek Catholic. And you celebrate Christmas on the 6th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. even though you're, you're even though you're still Catholic, you celebrate it. Yeah, we have other positions for sure. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, but um, believe me, a lot of us love Christmas, and a lot of great Catholic members of this church are coming to um, Rome Catholic Church in Christmas to celebrate it with them the first time. Oh, like on the 25th? Yeah. <laughs> so the Greek Catholic is like the, you know, the you Roman can, Catholic you can Christmas sing, and you the can, Orthodox Christmas. I don't yeah. know. You can think <laughs> that in Roman Catholic in Christmas time there are so many members, but for sure most of them are Greek Catholic. That is hilarious! That's and so a lot cool. of Greeks are from Greek Catholic Church are oh. coming to uh, Roman Catholic Church in the day to celebrate. To do like yeah. Christmases. That's really neat, getting to celebrate both Christmases. Yeah, so it's really a moment when Catholic Church is together. Mm. So it's, yeah, and this Mass that I said before, it started in the morning, mm. and it's really long Mass, you really, like five, six hours, so long. I remember that after I said Mass, I was just like, oh, mom, I just want to go sleep in it. And sleep <laughs> um, but it's the same with Easter, like Easter is also morning, oh, really morning, it's like 3 5 also, and it's really long. Mm -hmm. But in Easter, you get more food. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 That's see. so funny. Yeah, so traditions are a lot, but I think it's like what you can see, like yeah. from perceiving this. What yes. about your. But you didn't finish. What are some Polish traditions? I would not say that I know a lot of Polish tradition, but um, for sure in Poland it's also very, very fam a family mm -hmm. um, holiday thing. I think it's why many people in last year felt really alone and um, mm -hmm. difficult because last year we couldn't like celebrate it together. I think there was a limit in Poland that you could only have right. five people. Yeah. And you could not come and even travel uh, as I get. I remember last year. I think there were some restrictions on travel, yeah, but you weren't really allowed to have five people outside of your household in your so, house. Like, so come on, this is someone. You can't really someone had like, like, together. <laughs> like someone's eight children, so you know we cannot celebrate it with your own children, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, this is a bind. So I'm thinking that you know in Poland it also um, uh, seems to be family, a celebration. Also, what is not come uh, common in Ukraine 
in Poland they are giving presents in Christmas. In Ukraine it never happened. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because, Why is that, you know? Because in Ukraine, um, because as in Poland, as in Ukraine, there is St. Nicholas Day. Mm -hmm. But in Poland it's really, how to say that, maybe um, it's really something that we are celebrating at like in the day of Saint, but we are not giving big presents. It's something like symbol of the love symbol. But in Ukraine, in the day, it's like 18th, 19th of December. Mm -hmm. You're getting the biggest present that you ever could imagine. Like so, it's really, really big <laughs> presents and costly presents. So you usually people are giving for it a lot of money. Believe me. And then nothing on Christmas. Yeah, in Christmas, like. Oh. In Ukraine, nobody knows that Salmas is giving presents in Christmas. That's interesting. I wonder if that helps focus on like Jesus's birth and like focus more on that because there isn't a present element. I mean, I don't know because I haven't. It's not a Ukrainian about. tradition for sure. It's more oh. Polish. Like I'm sure that Polish people are doing it and putting it like uh, under the Christmas tree, like here. But Ukrainians, like truly Ukrainians, will never do it. They will ne never put presents here. They put it. Uh, under the pillow when you're sleeping. Oh, that's so cute! Because St. Nicholas is coming when you're sleeping. Aww. So, like, parents' goal is to come to the room, put the presents, and never do this, like, the children see that mm -hmm. they are doing it. So it's yeah. really hard, you know, like, agent systems at night, how to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm thinking that, for example, in Germany and more west, they are less and less um, about a church, mm -hmm. but more about like family vacation, present stuff. I'm thinking about more, and they, I'm not sure that there are so many things about it, like special, maybe some, some only part of it, but for sure it's not so traditional and you cannot feel it so deeply and as you do in the west in the east mm -hmm. part of mm -hmm. Europe it's for sure but it, in Italy they have the uh, special like sweets for for Christmas so mm -hmm. I think that every nation like celebrates That's something the different yeah yeah food but the thing is for me it's a like is part try to be more close to Jesus in that moment mm -hmm. and the west part maybe try to be close with each other more you can feel it really. The good things are coming and ending. So this is your part now. <laughs> I'm happy to ask you how um, you can, t uh, what I can tell us about your traditions, your family traditions, and maybe you can compare it to the different countries in that you used to live in Israel and France. Mm -hmm. I'm interesting how you compare it to Israel for sure. <laughs> Everything yeah. for you. I know it's a new one to know. <laughs> you feel this connection. <laughs> so I, um, I in the states, um, I think a lot of people have seen like a lot of mm -hmm. American Christmas movies and stuff. Um, they definitely have the trees. Home Alone. Give me the presents. Home Alone. Oh, it's really funny because all Polish people know Home Alone, <laughs> which is really funny. Oh, worried know it. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, so yeah, that's just like been really interesting. Um, so usually like we celebrate on the 24th and 25th in America and we, um, usually, so I grew up Protestant, so we go to like a Protestant church mm -hmm. service usually on Christmas Eve. There's also like Catholic churches in America too, and they can, um, I've been to a midnight mass, um, on Christmas in America. And um, yeah, it's definitely like a time for family. Usually people travel to go see their grandparents, cousins. Um, mm -hmm. Usually there's a big dinner and uh, everybody gets together and opens presents. And um, yeah, just spends a lot of good time together. My family like to take walks and stuff. And then, um, but my, my family growing up, because we moved so much and mm -hmm. we were constantly in different places and we might not always be able to travel to our family because they were far. Uh, we started our own tradition of mm -hmm. we would actually go eat sushi on Christmas. Cause it's we, why right now sushi are coming to Yeah, we're actually waiting for sushi, yeah. which is really good. Um, but uh, yeah, so we started eating sushi on Christmas because it's one of the only places that are like open during Christmas because everywhere else is closed. And um, it's so delicious. Like it's like my favorite food. It's like it's just such good food. Um, so yeah, we started going to sushi on Christmas, and um, so that was like my my family's tradition. 
That is interesting. So I lived in France and I got to spend uh, Christmas in France with one of my really good friends and her whole family. And it was so, it was so lovely. It was such a different experience. Like we, we started off with uh, l'aperitif, which is like the um, appetizer. <laughs> l'aperitif. <laughs> You get hot. And I have an American accent in French, but like whatever. <laughs> but like, um, so we start off, and it's basically it's like uh, they had like a bunch of little appetizers with like foie gras and like um, just like really really good stuff, and then champagne, you know, champagne, and um, yeah, and we're all just like sitting around and talking and having conversation, and it was just like a nice time. And then after that, we moved to the next course, and I can't remember what the next course is. I think there was a fish course. There was like um, like a main dish. There was like another dish. There was like a soup. So that I was like, said, I'm hungry. No, here are more people. <laughs> and there was like different wines for every course. So like we had like white wine with the fish, and then it went to red wine for this, and then like the wine would change with each thing we were eating. So did you like, have milk you... portion? No, we didn't have a milk portion. I'm sorry. I know. Is the life gonna be hard? But I feel like it was very French to change like the wine for everything. Yeah, like, um, it's the French Yeah, it was kind of cool though to like see like the family together eating it <laughs> and like um, and then there was really like, exciting. Yeah, and there was like an exchange of gifts, and then I think dinner lasted about five hours, like from the start of dinner to dessert. It was like a five-hour dinner, so that was like pretty long, because um, in America we we generally eat pretty quickly. I'd say in Europe. Generally, people eat slower, but still, it was like it, it felt a bit longer. Um, and then we, what else did we do? And then, uh, so that was Christmas Eve, and then on Christmas Day, we did like another big long meal just with different people. Um, but it was a really nice time. Like, it was just like friends, family all together, just like eating dinner. Um, and France was really pretty with all the Christmas markets. I know like they have them in Poland too and all across Europe, but it was just like really pretty with all the Christmas markets getting to walk around. Um, and then for Israel, um, Israel is a Jewish country, so Christmas is not like celebrated by a lot of people. Hanuk ha Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah. So in early December, there was a Jewish holiday of Hanukkah to celebrate the, uh, the revolt of the Maccabees and the miracle of... Um, the oil just being able to sustain this candle for eight days. And so that's why they have the menorah for eight candles for eight days. Um, so that's the main celebration in Israel. So when it comes to Christmas time, um, mostly most of the Christians in Israel are um, like Palestinian Arabs who are Christian. And so when you go into the Palestinian towns, actually there's a lot more Christmas decorations, there's more Christmas music. And then when you go into the Jewish towns, it's like Christmas doesn't exist. And then like, it's so funny. Yeah. Um, and, and like in major cities like Jerusalem, Haifa, Tel Aviv, they do have like big Christmas trees up there. Um, I didn't actually spend Christmas in Israel because I left right before Christmas to go back to the States. Um, but I was there just like right before, so it's mm -hmm. interesting to see, see. like mm -hmm. everything set up. And it was cool because in Nazareth, where we were, um, they have like a local, at the local Orthodox church, which we lived right next to, there was, uh, they had these scouts. Cool. Um, and the scouts would be playing bagpipes and rehearsing, and so they play at Christmas, they play at Easter, um, and so you, like at night you could hear them practicing their bagpipes, which just seems so random. Um, but yeah, like it was cool to cool to see that, but I didn't get to see like the different foods. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was probably different interesting foods and traditions there um, that I just don't know about. It's why I will say to in secret and want Holland to go one more time to <laughs> Israel, <laughs> shake everything, <laughs> and you know to know how to cook it up. You will make here maybe some lessons on the cooking. I no, can actually okay. make you some Israeli. You know, I, I think it would be cool to make some program about cooking this. I'm sure that I am this one who is like <laughs> nothing who is cooking. And Holly is a person who likes cooking. I enjoy it. <laughs> so you know, it will be like, whoa, totally different. Yeah. Well, one, thing I'll, one more thing I'll add about Israel is so you can actually go to the place where it's mm -hmm. traditionally expected where Jesus was born. And it's in Bethlehem, Bethlehem in Hebrew. And you walk into this church and it's actually stewarded by four churches. By an Orthodox church, by a Catholic church, by... 
Mm, I don't remember the other two. I think it's like Armenian Christian and then one other denomination. But there's four denominations and they all like steward this like this big church that has all these four churches in it. And you go down underground and when you go down underground there's actually a star which is like the exact place where they believe Jesus was born. And Whoa. you can you can kneel down at the star and you can actually kiss it. And oh. then you can like and there's like these like really beautiful like um, oil lamps above you. And there's like a picture of Mary and Jesus like just right across. Um, and it's just it's really cool because I like that there's four denominations mm-hmm. all stewarding this church because it's cool to see people come together in unity and wanting to like revere this place where Jesus was, you know, traditionally where they expected Jesus was born. Um, and it's like a little cave so you can tell like that's where they kept animals and so I definitely suggest going to that if you find yourself in Israel to go to the West Bank, go to Bethlehem and check out this church. I want to study this word Bethlehem. Bethlehem. It actually in Hebrew it means um fun fact, in Hebrew Bethlehem means bed means house and Lechem is okay. like it means bread. House so, of bread. House of bread. And here's the bread of life in the Bible. Jesus. So that's kind of cool. So, sudden means word. Bethlehem. Bed? Bet. Like Bet. B E T. Bet? Bethlehem. 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 Yeah. Bethlehem. There you go. You see, you see, words, see words. I can't remember the word in Arabic. Bethlehem. I can't remember how they say it in Arabic. Because Arabic is the main language in mm-hmm. Bethlehem today. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest a visit. It's very cool to see. Thank you. It was nice to Russia. you know to get new facts about yeah. new you know, traditions and new countries. Yeah. And I hope that you guys enjoyed too with me yeah. and with Holly. And I really want that wherever you are, just yeah. to analyze how beautiful your Christmas is and how many traditions we have that probably we didn't even like analyze it. That is something special. Yeah. But in another place in the world, no one will know it, and mm-hmm. it will be only you who are has a special, special understanding, special time. Yeah. So that's really true. Like I hope that it's like fascinating to hear the different cultures, and and if you're from a different country than any of the countries you mentioned, or if there's something that we forgot to mention about any yeah. of our countries, like please just go ahead and type it in the comments below to create an interesting discussion. We because are waiting for you. Yes, like tell us, like tell us what you think and like we'd love to hear your perspective on like maybe your own family has like a mm-hmm. special tradition um, because it's always interesting to learn from one another and learn For from sure. one another's perspectives and how like cut like the culture shaped countries and how do we understand that so mm-hmm. yeah. Tell us then, thanks for joining us for this Christmas. How do you say Christmas in Polish? Polish? Okay. The, oh, well, the story is like Merry Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Or it's Christmas. all it's after Christmas, but we still wish you Merry Christmas. Or we can say it like Lisbo. 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 Great. Lisbo. Lisbo. Yeah. Lisbo. 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 Bye. Bye.